let's talk about three important terms internet intranet and extranet now these appear to be similar but there are major differences that we would understand so let's first talk about intranet intra means within so within a company whatever network is there is what is known as intranet so let's say i have a company with 50 employees and whatever network is being shared whatever information is shared is between the employees and within the company so that is what is intranet now when i say intranet it's it's important that it's a kind of private network it's regulated you have security by firewalls that could be seen and the all the information that is being shared is important for security purposes there can be certain sensitive information that could be transmitted so that is what is when i say is intranet now talking about the technologies that we use to bring this information to let's say the vendors outside so what we do is we use extranet but this information is within the company and to the vendors or the suppliers uh, wherever i want the information to be sent in so that is where we use extranet now this could be used for sharing large volume of information this could be used for let's say a kind of joint training program between two companies there could be external agencies that could be involved for the same so but the idea is the information is again limited it's not just limited to the company itself but beyond the company you would have the suppliers the vendors or uh, a kind of another uh, organization where you would be linking to it so this is where you have the extranet so intranet you extend it a little you have extranet and when i say internet it's a kind of uh, publicly visible internet uh, interconnected computer networks that are seen and all of the data is being transmitted through the internet uh, protocols so it's accessible to everyone it's unrestricted uncensored and it's available on a global platform everyone can access the information everyone can have an information on the same things that is available on the internet but this internet comes with certain issues there are problems like cyber crimes associated related to it phishing hacking virus uh, attack that could be seen similarly when i am talking about internet there are also numerous uses so all of the banking that you could see the online banking the research and development the issues of advertisement communication all those things run because you have a internet you are capable of transmitting information through the copper wires cable wires fiber optics wireless connections so all of those platforms will all have the internet that would be available so it's more of a kind of global aspect interconnectivity across computer networks that is seen unrestricted information that flows in uh, uncensored information that goes in so that's about the differences the key differences and ideas between internet extranet and uh, intranet very very important stay tuned for many more updates have a wonderful day ahead